Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel card. So what do we have for Capricorn please angels? What is the message Capricorn needs to hear the most for the week? Okay, so the message I've got Capricorn is forgiveness. You might be making peace with something. Forgiveness is a form of, of release. It helps you move on, not carry toxic baggage and energy with you. So it's generally for the benefit of you more than anybody else. Yeah, interesting energy there, Capricorn. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. For the week, 4th to the 10th of January 2021. Thank you. First card is out. Oh, so we have the Eight of Wands. This is your current situation. Your challenge, we have the Four of Swords. The Hermit is advice from Spirit. And your outcome. Oh, lovely. That is beautiful. The world. Very nice energy there. Okay. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Capricorn. Okay, can we clarify these cards on the table, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting, I've got the Four of Swords again, Capricorn. It's quite usual in my readings to get double cards because it's the way that Angel Spirits Guides want to emphasise a certain point, which is that Four of Swords energy, so we'll go into that. Four of Swords in your challenge is clarified with the Six of Swords. The Hermit is clarified with the Three of Wands. And the World card love it with the king of wands okay so bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords energy so capricorn this is definitely an energy an energy of recovery healing regrouping because the the four of swords is is a card of recovery. It is a card of reflection, having a breather, getting perspective. It can be to do with finding ideas on how you need to move forward, regrouping, re-strategizing. So there's definitely an energy here of giving some deep thought to a situation, some deep contemplation, getting perspective on whatever this forgiveness was required here. But the Eight of Wands is a card of action. So it might well be for some of you, you have been through a period of recovery. And now you're getting perspective on how you need to take action. The Eight of Wands is positive shifts are open to you. Um, this is in the form of opportunity, you know, it can be more than one opportunity coming your way, can be to do with news coming your way, can be to do with um, a conversation leading to something solid. For some of you, there's positive change, positive shifts, and it feels like you're ready to take action to bring positive shifts, movement in your life now. Um, that could be in the form of, sometimes this is linked to travel. I also see this as, as things like online opportunity as well, distance, 
um, communication or news, you know, that kind of thing as well. So that might resonate for some of you. But it is a card of growth, the Eight of Wands, being ready to open up to a journey. You know, it is that kind of energy. It's positive shifts, energy shifts, growth, um, progress. You know, it's that kind of thing. There can sometimes be news coming out of the blue as well. But it feels like for some of you, you've, you've gone through a period of recovery, healing. Again, there's Six of Swords with the Four of Swords in your challenge position the difficulty in healing and moving on from a situation and putting a difficult situation behind you but it feels like now is the opportunity you're not quite there yet because this is your challenge position with that six of swords to find that happy equilibrium once more this is about whatever you're giving some deep thought to some deep contemplation to you're going to get clarity in how you need to take action to move forward in your life it feels very beautiful uh, and that six of swords is getting clarity finding direction seeing the way forward moving from troubled times to calmer waters and it's that life transition um, now you might be moving home you might be moving for jobs it might well be life transitions in whichever area for you but you're going in the right direction nevertheless so it feels this four of swords is really powerful because there's an energy of forgiveness here but giving some deep thought reflection to how you take action now to put something that has been challenging and difficult behind you so I love that energy for that reason. And again, we have the Hermit energy here with the Three of Wands. So definitely an energy here, Capricorn, that there has been some introspection, some deep uh, finding acceptance, understanding how to get over those emotional challenges, um, challenges that may have hurt you that you might have need to heal from definitely feeling that with that herbit energy but you are finding the answers from within now in how you need to take action you know there's a great energy of alignment here aligning to how you need to move forward how you need it feels like you want to find the direction definitely feels in this energy you're you're in the process of finding direction in dealing with a situation that you needed to heal from get a perspective on, move on from, put it behind you. And the message is with the Three of Wands, you will. That's what Spirit is saying. You will turn your back on whatever's gone before. You're ready to manifest that new path. I mean, the Three of Wands is uh, the first sign of success, the first sign of, of something good coming your way by the actions that you take. And you take action based on the wisdom that comes to you from within. So there's definitely an energy here, Capricorn, of getting perspective, finding answers, finding that direction on how you need to move forward this week. And the message is, don't let anything hold you back. Because the Seven of Swords can be our own self-sabotage mechanism. Again, it's this mental energy. And remember the, the swords energy, the four of swords, the six of swords, the four of swords again. The swords are linked to the mind, how we perceive something, our negative, you know, our, can be negative thought patterns, how we, how we think, um, view the world, our perceptions. So it feels like this has also been you getting your head around a situation but I definitely feel this is about don't hold, don't let anything hold you back seven of swords like I said it can just be where we're our own worst enemy you know in that kind of energy it can be a card of, of, of self-deception I feel this is very much linked with the mind your perception how you might be viewing something um, there's definitely an energy of don't hold back now, this can also be a card of deception in your external world, lack of truth, stealing. Uh, it's the thief card, you know. So it can be um, 
stealing. It can be to do with deception, lack of truth, sneakiness, covertness, hiding something. So it could be that this healing has been to do with somebody in your life dealing with this kind of situation as well. And it could be, I mean, it might well be that the King of Wands can sometimes represent a person. If it is a person, I mean, this generally for me is a Leo, but it can also be Aries or Sagittarius. Um, or, the, or an energy of somebody who embodies the qualities of the King of Wands. A leader, somebody who's very successful, charismatic, a go-getter, full of energy, drive, enthusiasm, magnetism, call it what you will. Um, so it could represent somebody who is male or female in your life who you may have been deceived from and it might well be that this is the process of just getting your head finally around a situation but it feels this week you are going to have clarity in how you need to move forward because if it's not a person this is generally an energy of taking the lead taking control of a situation also being in your power the King of Wands is a great energy of being in your power. It's also very visionary as well. So it feels again with this Three of Wands energy as well, which is also a visionary energy. Um, implementing a plan, taking action to manifest a new path for yourself, the beginnings of success, the beginnings of something good coming towards you. It feels in this situation, Capricorn, that now is the time to take the lead. Now is the time to, to have the vision and to put it into action because it feels like you're being given some illumination um, from within. The answers come from within most definitely this week in how you need to bring these positive shifts in your life, whether it's communication, opportunity, um, shifts, travel, call it what you will. The world is also a card of, of travel, interestingly enough, so some of you may well be planning some travel arrangements. I know we have COVID, but it's obviously different stages all over the world. Um, so obviously tell you what resonates for you, but this can also be about travel. So some of you may well be looking at travel, movement, moving home, moving jobs, life changes, that kind of energy. Even planning holiday maybe for some of you, though obviously restrictions and, and pandemic and all that. Um, but, you know, it can also be a completion card, the end of a major cycle where you successfully are completing this phase of your life. You're finding direction on how you need to move forward to step into a new phase of your life now. So it feels very beautiful here. It feels very beautiful indeed. So I'm going to pull one more card, Capricorn. Any other advice? The world, the world card is worldly success, achievement, victory, ready to step through a new phase of your life. So it feels like whatever this challenge and recovery and forgiveness that's been needed is going to soon be over for you by your own action. And I think it's where you're placing your focus is the most important thing. It's that mental energy that is coming through this whole reading. Any other message for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, I love it because the Ace of Cups, Capricorn, that is beautiful. Now, Ace of Cups, the Aces are the new beginnings, new phases, but it can also, it's not necessarily, you know, you draw a line and, and step, you know, and you move into another area of your life. It can be that, but it can also be emotionally being ready to move on. You know, this is emotional rebirth. So where you've been through some kind of difficult challenge, for some of you, you may well feel the shift in your own energy this week, as well as maybe in your external environment. Um, the Ace of Cups is can also be opportunity that brings you joy, creative opportunity generally. <coughs> um, so um, can be expressive arts, writing, journalism, um, culture, call it what you will. So maybe in those industries that could be to do with some news or opportunity coming your way. Um, can also be self-love, can even be new love in your life. I mean, that could be a pet, that could be a friend, that could be new love uh, for some of you coming your way. It feels like this Ace of Cups is linked with this Three of Wands. 
something good is coming your way. So it definitely feels in this energy that greater happiness is awaiting you on the new path. So like I said, Capricorn, that cup of love is, is the universe showing you love, light. You are the vessel and the universe is pouring that love into you. So you are being shown love from the universe, that's for sure. And definitely being intuitively guided towards greater happiness, emotional renewal, absolutely beautiful energy. So definitely coming through the other side of a situation this week, or certainly, you know, uh, that's what the cards are, are saying. You will come through the other side and there are greater things ahead, both, no, most definitely with those cards. So it feels very positive. I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn, thank you. Okay, yeah, I like this energy. We have lost and found. What was long, once lost was about to be. F what was once lost is about to be found, thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she she can help us find things we never even realize were lost. I mean, this is a, a great connection to self as well. Self love, self awareness, being in line with your intuition you know, your soul path, it feels very beautiful here. So I definitely feel that there is a, a new sense of self-love coming your way. And then whatever else this may represent for you, Capricorn. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.